it's a, actually my own personal story about my twin sister and I. We were both born in South Korea, adopted. She was raised in France. I was raised in the U.S. Oh my God. And uh, she saw me in a YouTube video online and contacted me through Facebook. So we're actually separated at birth. Uh, I don't think we had plans because we didn't really know what was going to happen when we started making it. But I think I am just generally more... I don't know, <laughs> happier, positive um, in life. So I think it just naturally went that way. My sister is very goofy as well. So I, I think it wasn't an intended, I guess, to be that way. It was just a reflection on, on us and uh, the situation that we were in. Um, there's so, I mean, we've spent so much time together and there are so many amazing things. Uh, but Korea, we spent a lot of time at the Adoptee Conference, which was a really good experience, and unfortunately we couldn't put all of that footage in, but that was um, really moving for us to be here with all the adoptees. Yeah. Um, when My sister and I have actually only been to Seoul together. Uh, we haven't really traveled elsewhere yet, so we've seen a lot of Seoul, a lot of the city. We've eaten at, I think, every restaurant possible, but... I think um, in, in the future we plan to do more of a tour of Korea and especially to come back down to Busan together because it has so much meaning for us. Yeah, exactly. It's really comforting to know that I'll never be alone. No matter where I am in the world, she's there. And also I can, um, luckily for social media and all that kind of stuff, I can connect with her right away at, at any given time and it's the best feeling. Yeah, <laughs> we talk quite a bit. It's mostly text messaging. Um, it's non-stop, all day. As long as, if we're sleeping, that's the only time we don't talk. And then last night, I was Skyping with my sister and I actually fell asleep while we were talking. <laughs> um, so yeah, I talked to her every day. When we were physically together for the first time, it was so awkward. I, like, we didn't even know how to be in the same place yet because we were so comfortable with each other, I guess, m mentally, because we had spoken so much. But then when we were actually in the same place. My sister likes to say we're similar to polarized magnets, that we want to get close, but once you get too close, you can't figure out how to be together. But that only lasted, I think, maybe an hour or two. And then after that, we were holding hands and we took a nap and we were super close and it was like we had never been apart. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I definitely want to continue acting because that's something that I love to do. But I would also like to move into directing and producing as well. Um, and I continue to work with my co-director Ryan Miyamoto, my uh, producer editor Jeff Consiglio, and my best friend Kanoa Gu, and we continue to work on new projects together. So hopefully, um, we'll have some fictional narrative stuff coming out in the next year or so. Um, I'm really excited to see how the reaction, because I've seen it so many times with the American audience, but I'm sure a Korean audience may take it, you know, differently. So I, I can't wait to see. I hope that the message is the same that everyone. Um, can exercise the thought that family has no boundary and love can be anyone we choose to accept into our life. Oh no, thank you for having us and I'm so happy that our premiere is here in Busan because it's again our birth city and it, it just means so much so I, I hope that um, everyone can, can learn that love and family has no boundary. <laughs>